Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today I want to talk about a couple of keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time in the script editor that for some reason don't seem to be well documented on the Godot website, uh, at least not at the time of recording. So let's dive in. So my first and possibly favorite is the ability to, with the keyboard shortcut, just select multiple instances of the same string. I'm just hitting Control D, and you see it selected Collider everywhere it appears in this document. Now in this particular case, I don't want this Get Collider to be selected, so similar to a mouse shortcut we're going to get to in a second, I can Alt-click to remove that from the selection. And now if I want to change these, I can just type in my new name and they all update at once. Yes, you can do this with Find and Replace, which is going to be true of a lot of things we're going to go over today, but this is about using the keyboard as much as possible. It's my preference and I find it more efficient. You do you. We're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts today. The next one is going to be a, a quick way to cycle through all instances of the strings. Let's skip over to this other file here and say I wanted to edit one of my print statements or maybe remove it. I could certainly scroll through and look for them. I could use find and replace again, but I find it a lot quicker to use control alt D which will walk me through every instance of that string one at a time. And when I find the one I'm looking for, I can make my edit. It's also possible to hold Alt and click in multiple places to insert multiple cursors that you can type into. But of course, if you do like I did and click in the wrong spot, you don't need to start over. You can Alt click that spot again to remove it. And again, to insert it where you want it, just like you would when selecting multiple files at the OS level. And you can combine this with multiple other shortcuts to do things really quickly. So let's say I wanted to put a prefix or a suffix on all of these strings here. Yeah, I could place them individually and then type underscore item or tm if you're recording live. What I can also do, if I place a bunch of cursors and then use control left or right to jump one word at a time, I can quickly get to the end of these and type it incorrectly again. I can also control left and put a prefix on here. And I can also use the home and end keys to jump to the beginning or the end of the line and work my way in as relevant. You can also get to multiple cursors by using control alt up or down to create them in a line. It's worth noting that I ran into some issues with the Mac equivalent of this shortcut. I don't know if it was my keyboard or another app's shortcut overriding mine, but I just ended remapping it, which we'll take a quick look at at the very end of this video, which is not far off, so hang in there. If you want to get fancy, you can combine some of these for some quick formatting. So I'm going to select this comma and space. I'm going to hit Command D to select all of them. And then I'm going to hit right on my keypad and hit enter. And then I can tab these over. And now I've got a nice vertical view of this array. Let's undo that. There's also a keyboard shortcut for selecting the word that's under your cursor, but this is an instance where I think the mouse is actually faster. I just double click, and if you click again fairly quickly, it'll select the entire line. You might recall from my last video, 10 features hidden in plain sight or whatever it was called. I will link it down below if you haven't seen it. You can use Alt up or down to move a line one at a time, but sometimes you wanna move a line a lot further than just a few spaces. And usually that means copying the whole thing, deleting, the space, finding where you want to put it. Uh, a faster way, you can actually copy or paste an entire line without selecting it. So with your cursor anywhere on that line and without selecting that line, you can hit Control X to cut it to your clipboard, and then you can paste it anywhere else in your project that you would like. Similarly, I can hit Control C again without selecting it, and now I can paste that line somewhere else. There is a specific keyboard shortcut for deleting an entire line the same way, but most of us already have the muscle memory for Control X, so often I'll use that instead. Lastly, I've just got two quick items on remapping keyboard shortcuts. If you go up to Editor Settings on Windows, it's under the Editor option, and then over to Shortcuts. I imagine most of you have rebinded shortcuts before. Uh, if you haven't, I will show you in a second, but I think more interestingly, if there is a shortcut you're using a lot and you don't like the existing binding, 
it can be very difficult to find because you might not know what it's called. You can actually search by the binding. So when I remapped the one I mentioned earlier, I can actually hit shift command six and it'll bring up the shortcut that's mapped to that. I, I find this incredibly helpful because sometimes you do want to mess with the default bindings, but looking through this list or knowing what to search for isn't always the easiest way to find what you're looking for. If you do want to rebind one of these or add an alternate, because you can have multiple key bindings per shortcut, you can expand this drop down under a given shortcut and see the primary, which you can then click this pencil to edit, or you can add an additional one, and then you just type the shortcut you're looking for. Let's say Control Shift P. You can see it grabbed P, Shift, and Control. You will want to be careful not to overwrite an existing one. I don't think this will warn you if you try to do that. There you have it. A couple of shortcuts that are not super well documented, I find extremely helpful, but again, I'm a keyboard guy, many of you are not. And if you aren't, and you made it this far, maybe tell me in the comments down below why you stuck with me so far. As always, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and if you have a second, please consider liking or subscribing. It's free to you and means a ton to me. Until next time, I will see you in one of these videos. Take care. Thank you.